if you don't know the song, your childhood period. I'm out of breath. No, I'm out of breath, guys. I need to breathe. Whew. Guys, it's not everyday Afrobeats, not everyday bashments. Sometimes all you ball music. Yeah. Because it slaps. It slaps. So, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how I achieved my burgundy knotless braids, as you can see. And I'm going to take you through the process of how I bleached and dyed my hair. My hair is burgundy from the roots. Look at my edges. Look at this. Beautiful. Shout out to my hairdresser. She's a boss. You feel me? So I wanted you guys to see the roots of my hair. I don't know if you guys can see if the black is starting to seep through so my roots are starting to grow back so I did this a couple of days ago but I wasn't ready to record so I look like a baddie guys I don't think you guys understand like this is a vibe I'm going to start off by showing you the first product by Land Silk, the peroxide cream 40 vol and 12% I'll also be using the white bleach powder by Land Silk. To help lift the yellow undertone and brassiness of your hair once bleached, I suggest using purple shampoo and conditioner. I will be using the Touch of Silver by Provoke. Make sure to have a bowl and an application brush. And this is the dye that I'm going to be using by Garnier. Also make sure you have a spare raggedy top that you can use that you don't mind getting bleach or hair dye on. I suggest you wear this prior to application and most importantly disposable gloves. I would suggest tripling your gloves to avoid stains on your palms and under your fingernails. I'm now going to oil my edges and my scalp for extra protection and I would suggest prior to bleaching your hair your hair should be dirty as you need the natural oils to protect your hair and your scalp whilst it's bleaching. I'm now going to split my hair into four sections. If your hair length is around about the same as mine or longer, I suggest splitting it into sections can make the application easier. So I've now mixed the peroxide and the bleach powder and what you want to achieve is a yogurt consistency. Not too runny, not too thick, just in between. I decided to use the white bleach powder container because my mixing bowl was too small. The aim is to apply the bleach within 10 to 15 minutes of the cooking time. I like to start with the back as I cannot see the back. The technique I use to bleach my hair is to bleach my hair from the centre outwards so my edges don't overcook. Including the 10 minute application time, the bleach has been on my hair for 40 minutes. At this point it was starting to burn and irritate my ears so try not to get bleach on your ears. I've washed out the bleach with the purple shampoo and I'm now applying the purple conditioner to sit for 5 minutes. And this is the end result. As you can see my hair is fully bleached and I managed to cover the back and get all my edges. After bleaching your hair make sure to use a moisturising lotion to protect your hair. The dye that I used is the Nutrice Cream by Garnier 4.6 Deep Red and like an idiot I assumed that this would be the colour that would match the extension, little did I know I was setting myself up for failure. Again, repeating the process, making sure you apply the hair dye within 10 to 15 minutes, giving an overall waiting time of 40 minutes. It was at this point I knew I'd fucked up. I basically bleached and dyed my hair brown and I was really pissed. Because I wasn't able to strip the dye, I did not want to bleach my hair again, so I decided to do underwear cameras and bleach my hair a month later to avoid damage. As you can see, my hair is much lighter than what you previously just saw and that is because I tried to strip the colour and wash my hair several times prior to getting my cameras. This is what my hair looked like once I bleached it the second time. Because I previously had the deep red hair dye, the bleach lifted the colour, which turned out peachy. I decided to put my hair back in underwear cameras as I felt that my hair was not light enough to dye, so I wanted to bleach it again a month later. And we're back again. 
This is the third time I've bleached my hair and I'm going to repeat the same process, split my hair into four sections. Don't forget to apply oil around your edges and your scalp to protect it from burning whilst it's bleaching. Again, I'll be using the Land Silk Peroxide Cream 40 Vol 12% and the Land Silk White Bleach Powder. Make sure to have a yogurt consistency, not too runny, not too thick, and set your timer for 10 to 15 minutes. Again, starting with the back. I prefer to start with the back so that it's fully covered, then move to the front. Once you've finished applying the bleach, you can wear a disposable shower cap to help the bleach to process. I've now washed out the bleach and I'm using the purple shampoo to wash my hair. The more you wash your hair with the purple shampoo, the brighter your hair gets. I'm now applying the purple conditioner and letting that sit for 5 minutes. And this is the end result. This is exactly how my hair looked like the first time I bleached it. The brighter your hair, the better it absorbs the hair dye. Don't forget to apply leave-in conditioner or hair moisturiser to protect your hair. Azonto, 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 now watch me do my azonto, azonto, okay. The hair dye I'm going to be using is the 5.62 Maxima by Vital Hair. And it comes in a tube. And I'll be mixing this with the peroxide cream. Again, repeating the same process, splitting my hair into four sections and applying this within 10 to 15 minutes. I know I mentioned earlier to start from the back, however, I made a mistake by starting from the front. And I think I got carried away because I was on the front at this point. And as you can see, my hair is starting to get darker on one side than the other. And this is how my hair turned out. As you can see, the roots of my hair is dark compared to the rest of my hair. Because I've bleached my hair multiple times, it's created natural highlights. The extension I'm going to be using is Expression Color BG. I put it against my hair to see how far off I was and I was not happy. And we're back again the next day, repeating the same process. This time I'm using the 7.26 hair dye. This is a shade darker than the 5.62. I wasn't really bothered with how I wanted to apply the dye as I needed this to stay on for as long as possible. Because I wanted to make sure those highlights were fully dyed, the total waiting time was an hour and 15 minutes. And this is the end result. Even though I still have highlights, I think I did a pretty good job as getting as dark as I possibly can. I had already dropped off my hair to the hairdresser so she could stretch it, hence why I could not show you what the expression looked like against my hair. Don't forget to use leave-in conditioner or moisturizing lotion. I'm also adding oil as my hair is slightly brittle from all the bleaching and dyeing. And this is the end result. I hope you guys love my braids as much as I do because I love me some long braids. They just make me feel eh. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about my hair and whether you like it or not and whether you think I did a great job. To be honest with you, I'm gonna keep it raw. I don't think I actually need your feedback because I can see for myself my hair is popping so regardless. <laughs> feel me.